Hello, I am Yisheng Wang, presenting my diagram in the class rhetorical grammar. In this video, I'm going to parse a sentence using a form function diagram, a kind of diagram Paul Hopper presented in his book, A Short Course in Grammar. The sentence I will diagram is from Hemingway's book, A Movable Feast. Here is the sentence. If you are lucky enough to have lived in Paris as a young man, then wherever you go for the rest of your life, it stays with you. For Paris is a movable feast. First of all, I will diagram the sentence while giving some explanations. After that, I will give a brief review of what is involved in this sentence while specifying which chapters or pages I have consulted to justify my diagram. Lastly, I will list the works I have cited. You will also see some page numbers in my subtitles. These are from Hopper's book. In case anyone disagree with my diagramming and wants to refer to the book, now let's get started. To save time, I have roughly diagrammed the sentence. As we can see, this long sentence begins with an adverbial clause of condition, followed by Then blah blah blah, it stays with you, which is an adverbial clause result.、Um, between then and the matrix sentence, it stays with you. We have wherever you go for the rest of your life as an adverbial clause of place. At the end of the sentence, we have for Paris is a movable feast as an adverbial clause of reason. Now let's discuss each clause. The word if is the complementizer in form, and it functions as an adverbial. You are lucky enough to have lived in Paris as a young man. Is a grammatically independent sentence that is the complement of if. So this is the subject. Is a pronoun. This is the predicate phrase. Predicate phrase. Predicate. This is the auxiliary. The auxiliary that comes before the subject complement. Lucky. So this adjective phrase altogether is our subject complement. To have lived in Paris, here I will say it is a preposition phrase, which I will explain later. As It、the head, the man is a noun phrase that functions as a prepositional complement. Some people might disagree and say that as a young man can be an adverbial complement of have lived. 
I think both are right in grammar, except they differ a bit in meaning. Another thing is, as you can see, I use the triangle invention in this this part. This is because Hopper does not really explain how to diagram an infinitive because he says the diagramming of non-finite clauses would take us past scope of the present book. But if we have to go into that triangle and diagram have lived in Paris, we might treat our lucky now to as an auxiliary and diagram have lived in Paris like Hopper diagram be supposed to on page 113, the second sample diagram. However, this might bring about another issue. Do we use the lucky to frequently enough that it can be treated as an auxiliary like be supposed to? Now the next part. Then is a commentizer and it functions as an adverbial. The rest of this part is the complement of then. Wherever you go for the rest of your life is an adverbial. Clause, adverbial clause of place, in which wherever is the complementizer. And it functions as an adverbial. Now it seems like we have a problem because we have an adverbial phrase inside an adverbial phrase as its complement. This is a structure uh, Hopper's book does not explain, but instead of saying wherever you go for the rest of your life is a complement of then, I feel that the word then is the complementizer of our matrix sentence. It stays with you and together they are the result. So I think if Hemingway had put then immediately in front of the matrix sentence and wherever you go for the rest of your life after the matrix sentence, diagramming would have been easier. But further discussion to this involves style that will not be addressed in this video. The matrix sentence is simple. This is a prepositional phrase. Functions as the adverb complement. Here I put the words subject and predicate of matrix clause in uppercase letters, which, as Hobbes said, 
It is a purely visual tactic with no grammatical significance. It is just used to distinguish functions in a matrix class from that in the embedded class, especially in a diagram with many classes. Now we reach the last part of the sentence for Paris is a movable feast and the verb of reason. This is a typical one, like the one on page 259, diagram 16a. Well, that's all. Here is an index of um, the terms in this video, the important terms involved, and why we're excited. Thanks for watching.